Food insecurity is a major issue on Vancouver Island, and that's why the Harvest and Share Food Relief Society was started three years ago to help grow fresh food for people in need. But that can be weather dependent. So as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, they're now partnering with a local elementary school to grow food underground in winter. We'll put um, a little bit of the stem and a little bit of the root so the root can dangle. Grade 5 students Jada and Blue show us how they're growing plants without dirt. I've learned quite a bit like how fast plants grow, how to germinate them, how to grow them all around. We make sure that the um, root is dangling underneath, so if it's not dangling, it's probably tucked in. This pilot project, part of a nature school programming at Glen Lyon Norfolk School, is using a section of the parking garage to grow food underground in winter for food banks and community kitchens. This is a very meaningful project and uh, I think it models so many good things. So it models excellent collaboration, it models service, all of the things that they are going to go on and use in their later life. It's the brainchild of entrepreneur Alan Murr, who's passionate about growing food and started the Harvest and Share Food Relief Society at the beginning of the COVID pandemic to help people in need. One of the things that we've been noticing at the food banks and our community kitchens that we donate to is that they don't have fresh leafy greens during the wintertime. So we started this great collaboration with uh, GNS. This indoor hydroponic system means fresh food can be grown year round. And what we've done differently here is we've created a, a passive system. So we don't have the pumps, the air filters and all the different things that need to be maintained. It's awesome because we can grow plants through any season you want and it's really fast and easy. Much faster than growing food outdoors, which means more produce can be produced. It feels so satisfying to like get the plants out, like cut the roots. It's just really, really fun. I love it. As a passion for growing takes root, so too are the seeds of philanthropy. It's really nice because uh, we are like connecting to the community and we help people who are in need, which it always feels very nice. I feel amazing that I know that I'm going to be helping people all over. And that's why Alan volunteers his time to make a difference. When you're delivering the food and you see the looks on the faces and that's when it triggers that so you know you've done something right and you feel good about it. Vital People brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.